In this video tutorial, we will show you how to connect FMTCO4 HCV GPS tractor to TackleGraph using Tackle Harness. Using direct TackleGraph connection requires CAN and K-Line configuration. Please check K-Line and CAN checkboxes. Set setting according to your use case. Settings might be different. We also set CAN2 to LCV reading to receive data from vehicle via secondary CAN bus connection. For your convenience, we have made a flowchart to represent different possible cases you can face. Green arrows represent the flow we will face during installation. At this point, feel free to pause the video and review the chart before moving to installation process. We will use these tools. Before moving forward with installation, we must check the version of the tachograph. This can be done by opening the paper tray and inspecting label for Siemens BDO tachograph. This solution will work with version above or equal 1.3a and Stone Ridge tachograph versions above 7.0. Please note that Siemens VDO has blacklisted tachographs that does not have ability to give away data using this method, even if they are newer than 1.3a. Our tachograph version is 1.4. Let's check if it's not in blacklist. Go to doc.rubtella.lt. Download TACO instruction. Use Ctrl plus F to check if Serial is not in list. We can proceed with installation. Put special tachograph removal tools to holes on the sides of the tachograph and gently pull it out. On the rear, four connectors can be found. They are named A, B, C, and D. Connector C contains CAN bus interface used to receive tachograph information as well as DDD files. Pin A of connector D contains K-Line interface used to receive driver ID, status, and other information. Often, the connectors are lead sealed or occupied by vehicle's telematic system. To remove lead seal or connectors C and D, please refer to your vehicle dealer. In our case, both C and D connectors are free and the access to them are not lead sealed. We can proceed to installation. Since connector D is free on tachograph, take brown connector from the plastic bag and put loose terminal in position 8. In case the connector is present on the tachograph and position 8 is free, put the terminal in original connector. Now put the C and D connectors in the tachograph and route the 14-pin connector to device installation location. Connect antenna, 12-pin, and 14-pin connectors to Reptella tracker. Turn ignition to power on the device and tachograph. Wait for device to find GSM network and GPS fix. To check tachograph status, send an SMS to device with request TACO. We receive status 1. That means that communication with tachograph is good and installation is finished. We will not show the device and cable tightening process.